Lucas, what's going on, man? Yeah, we're blessed, double. What are you saying to me? I'm all right, bro. Again, this is another one. We're meant to be sat down doing this face to face, bro, but they had other yeah. plans for us. I know the gods and the world had other plans. It's just how it goes, though, isn't it? Yeah. Has your life changed much? Because obviously, like, I know in terms of what you do work wise, there's a lot of engineering <laughs> and producing and that. Is it, um, uh -huh. is it much different for you now? I mean, like, there's a lot of labels that still want me to work. So I've still been doing, like, bits of mixing work. Right. Um, I've been there just built fucking rum all over my nice keyboard. <laughs> no! <laughs> a very, very good thing to do. Uh, and I just bought this keyboard. Amazing. Uh, um, just yeah, as well no, you've got like, that label you know work coming in. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what? Like, there's still quite a lot of work that's been coming through. So I've been working with, like, Disturbing London. Um, with Warner, with Black Butter. So there's still like quite a lot of work going on that's, that I'm able to do from home. I've got like a tidy setup here. So yeah. in a way, it's like I've been able to be productive and work at the same time. So for me, it's not been too bad. What I miss is obviously is the actual studio session where I'm able to work with artists yeah, yeah, and yeah. actually be able to, do you know what I mean? Just connect with people yeah, in the flesh. You know I mean, that's what it is. But apart from that, to be honest, it's, it's, it's been all right. Like, it's been like, I've been able to like reflect, chill. Cause I was working so much before, I kind of took a little bit of the downtime to just relax a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I weren't, like I weren't doing much. Like everybody's doing live and doing these amazing ideas. Uh -huh. And I was just like chilling. Like I was like actually just taking a break from everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, like everything's all right, to be honest with you, I can't complain. Yeah, How about so, yourself? Bruv, you know what? The first couple of weeks, I was exactly the same as you. Because I was doing, like, before this hit, I'm doing, like, at least two interviews a week. I'm doing mm. five club sets a week. I'm doing various other bits that I do for the labels, kind of just the side stuff that I do. And it was hectic, yeah. bruv, you know what I mean? Like, it was, it was just getting mad. So the first couple of weeks, I was exactly the same. I was like, you know what? Let me just chill. Let's actually just sit down and just collect myself a little bit and then figure out, I wanted yeah. to figure out what, if anything, I wanted to do during this time. Do you know what I mean? So like, mm -hmm. then I was like, okay, well, there's interviews I had booked and interviews that I was talking to people about doing. I love having conversations anyway. So let me course, just yeah. figure out the best way to do that. The stuff you've got <laughs> coming in, is it mostly like um, engineering stuff? Because obviously you're, you're like so multifaceted in what's in what you do in music you've got a lot of the engineering things a lot of the production mm -hmm. people, but obviously your your own solo artist stuff as well so the stuff that you've got keeping you going is all mm. engineering what pays the bills and what, what i've been able to do with my own career as an artist is from from what i do from mass mixing and mastering mm -hmm. so that's like that's enabled me to like be fully self-employed run my own business and then essentially be able to invest in my own career when I want to do music and do music videos. So yeah. I was lucky that I managed to put out a, a single and a project just on the cusp of this bloody Corona thing. Yeah. I managed to put a video out the day before lockdown. Right. So I just felt like, phew, like just hit the deadline. And um, yeah, so like I've got the project out there. It's called La Magia. It's a, it's a project that got put out by Extreme, which they do like, you know, like, syncing for film and tv okay. and um they wanted to get my project on their books and they said we'll release it for you so it's like a collaboration with them um it's kind of got a bit of spanglish on there a bit of bits and pieces on there so so i was fortunate enough to do that man and then um, yeah i've got like stuff that's coming in the future as well for the artist side like really interesting stuff that i'm gonna run by you as well at some point who's your target audience yeah. as an artist because i've noticed obviously like you do a lot more upbeat stuff, a lot more melodic music, but like you said, mm. it's a mixture of Spanish and English as well. So in America, there's a huge market for that, but not so much in the oh, UK. Yeah. Do you know what? I haven't really aimed at anybody in general when I'm making music. Like I just, I've always made that music that's got vibes to it. So it's like, there's always something you're going to want to dance to, or like DJs are going to want to play in the clubs and, and that kind of a thing. because. I used to, when I went to Colombia, I'll go to like the clubs a lot 
and it was like all you would dance to or all you would do is like listen to reggaeton reggaeton right at first i was like this is too much yeah, but yeah. then obviously you get into the vibe of it and then you're, you're meeting people and you're just, you're going out with your friends and it's like, after a while, it's like, you just, you get not brainwashed, but you end up getting, a part, you're a part of it now. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I was out there for like three months, two months at a time, just enjoying life. And and then when I really got into the music, when I got back here, it was like, damn, I missed that vibe. So I was like, I kind of want to mix it up with a bit of my vibe, but with that vibe as well, a bit tropical. Because I always did like bangers, like stuff that like Tory Lanez or Drake or Chris Brown could do, like those types of tunes, mm -hmm. like melodic rap and all this stuff. But it wasn't really, wasn't really hitting. I'm not a clout chaser, I'm not a big trapper that's just got mad money, Rollies and Richard Millies going all over the place. It's like I'm just like a musician. Yeah. I feel like in America that that kind of gets respected more if you just do music. Like Travis Scott, he's just a mus like he's a musician. He can talk about. Burrs and the trap and Brian yeah, yeah, McKnight yeah. and all kinds of you can say weird <laughs> shit and it pops up. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And it's like I, I love that. So I feel like I'm kind of like that kind of a vibe when it comes to my music. So I feel like I wanna be able to make music and not think too much like, okay, I've got to make a radio friendly track. I've got to make a track that's gonna work in the clubs. This DJ will play it. It's like I try to make music from that's that's truthful to me. Do you know what mm. I mean? So I can't really lie on songs or say like this situation and that situation when it's not the case. So I've always been a vibes person. Yeah. So I think that's that's what I've tried to do. When I check the demographics and the people that I listen to my music, I get weird messages like, oh, you're inspiring my son or like, I really love this song. It helped me through this. And I get really baffed sometimes because I'm like, rare. Like obviously something's working, do you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I don't really think about it too tough. To be honest, All right, it's a sick, definitely a sick way to describe the music you make. Vibes, I like that because it mm, is like yeah, every, yeah. everything you sent me is vibes, bro. With the yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. On on the production tip, like especially what you mm. do, what you do as an engineer. I think I first came across you and we first crossed paths because of the engineering side of it, and obviously, like there's so much stuff. Do me a favor, actually. Name drop a couple of the mm -hmm. big projects that you've engineered because I feel like it's such a thankless job. But what you've yeah, yeah, done yeah. has helped shape. Like you, you've you been a key part of some historic moments in UK rap. Like just for example, a lot of people wouldn't well, know course. you engineered the whole Landlord album for gigs. Obviously there's other elements involved, but do you know what I mean? Like of course, people yeah, don't yeah, understand yeah. the importance of mixing and mastering music properly. And so... 100%. What, what are some other big projects? Let you, now's the time. You don't have to be humble. I know you're a humble guy, but you can drop some names right now, bro. Other Slip. big projects you've done. Go on. Well, I've done Young Bane Vroom. Um, I've done um, I Caramba, Fredo, and Young Tian Bugsy. Um, I've done, obviously, I've done the gig stuff like Whipping Excursion, Lockdo. Mm -hmm. um, was it just those two or did you, I thought you did the whole project, the whole album. No, I did, yeah, you know, I did the whole project. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, like, obviously Giggs is very hands-on, yeah. but he let, he allowed me to have a lot of, like, direction in things. So, like, if I needed to add a kick or snare or just add a little bit of my own input, then, then yeah, he allowed me to do that. Do you know what I mean? Even from when I worked on When Will It Stop? And we done, um, is it Gangster with Mark Ronson? He, he allowed, he allowed me to, be in the studio with Mark Ronson, See. mixing it and getting his ideas. So, so Giggs was always he always gave me opportunities like that. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know that's that's just some of the stuff that I've done. Let me see what else I've done. Yeah, needed oh, time. Now's, now's the time, bro. Let's do the plaque tour. Let's have a tour. Oh, no, Come on. Allow it. Stop being humble. Stop. Stop. Damn, yeah. <laughs> It's time for the black tour. Off. This is this is gonna take ten minutes alone. So yeah, that's um some of the Akaraba stuff. I did some stuff for Craig David back in the day. Oh okay, um, what's that one? So that that's for slicker than your average, the album. Oh okay. So yeah, that's yeah. some stuff that I did. Go back, go back. You're going too quick. We need to see all of them. Flipping out. <laughs> right, that's that's for gigs. Yeah, landlord. So that's when we went silver with Lot though. Sick. This is for the album. The album went silver. 
Yeah. Um, just found out that Locked Doll went platinum as well, so oh, wow. that's another plaque that's going to come. Um, we've got some stuff here with Bane for Vroom, yeah. which went silver. Vroom went gold recently as well, so we've got that. God. Um, that's for Needed Time, which went silver as well. Just found out that um, Pounds up foot went silver as well. The other, I'll tell you what, the other one, it dropped, I think it was, like, yeah, it was last year. Two Cups was last year, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. last oh. year, September. One of my favourite tunes of the year. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I, bless you. I know you, pr you produced that one with um, Sincere, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard tune, bro. How, how much of a headache was that sample to get? The Diwali rhythm, you know, the clap? It was a mess. It was a big mess. Like, there was a big legal <laughs> thing going on around. Like, it was a madness. But yeah. to be honest with you, it wasn't a sample. I, oh, me and my like boy Tali, right? We Wait. replayed everything from. We replayed everything from scratch. Right. So um, I can even show you still. A lot of people yeah. don't believe, man. Yeah, like a lot of people didn't believe it, but it was a mess. We had to give quite a bit of publishing away because of that. So I'm gonna show you what I had to do. That was a big rhythm when in his time, bro. That was a huge rhythm. Oh yeah. So these are the drums which I got from the Otto tune. Yeah. So then my whole thing was like, I gotta try and get the groove now. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I literally had to work like for ages trying to get this whole thing right. But then what you hear obviously is the final product. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So the actual drums weren't weren't actually sampled because if we would have sampled them, we would have had to forget about publishing altogether. Right, lose basically. all your publishing, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it all the publishing, so so yeah. In the end, like had to replay the drums. We did a we did so many versions because that tune wasn't the tune that Tory Lanez liked at first. Right. We had like other artists that meant to jump on the tune. The Sincere's always believed in my vision for like making something just mad. Um, so I was like, you know, we should get someone from here, from there. Da, da, da. My whole thing was trying to do something with the reggaeton Latin flavor, but with those guys on it. Yeah. And Sincere was obviously on it. He was game for it. So, yeah, but Tory Lanez picked another beat. It's another fire beat, which I wanted it to be the tune. Yeah. But Tory's manager was like, oh, yeah, like, you know what? I think we need something more different. Da, 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 da. So he started putting doubt in everyone else's mind. So we needed another beat. So right. I had to come up with that beat. And I made the beat, and then Sincere was like, why don't you try the Diwali drums in there just to see how it goes? And obviously, it weren't perfect. But then we just thought, you know, we need to remake the drums, and that was a headache. Yeah. Um, but once we did it, it was all blessed, you know what I mean? Popcorn jumped on it. He loved it. The same with Fredo. Fredo was just like, yeah. And then that's how we got that link up, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, such a So, yeah, it was, it was a good one. Like, yeah, the, the, the features through that whole tune, bruv, like, yeah, three hard-hitting artists, but... Like I say, one of my favourite songs from last year, man. I'm a big Tory Lanez fan anyway. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, trust, trust. Dropping it from early in the clubs. But no, that's sick. Do you have the beat, the original beat that Tory chose? What's happening with that? Is that going to be a song? That's already been given to another artist. Actually, funnily enough, like, Exo Man done a tune with Chiching Ching, oh, okay. um, who's one of Sean, Sean Paul's artists. Yeah. And... um. But I, we basically went to hook up with Sean Paul when he was doing his UK tour. Mm -hmm. So we went to Liverpool with him, we went to Brighton with him, and obviously we was in the hotel room just playing loads of tunes and recording loads of stuff. Yeah. Um, where where was you in Brighton? That, they, they came to the club that night. That was my birthday that night. Why didn't you come? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, in fact, I don't think EXO came, but Chi Ching was there because he, he came and um, he did the Turn Down For What rhythm on my set. Oh, Okay, so that's he he fucked off for a bit. I remember <laughs> that's right. It came but to my was, birthday party, bro. We were in the club turning bro, up. <laughs> I, I did not even know that that was the case, bro. Yeah, because obviously, like, because we was with Sean Paul now, we was listening to rhythms the whole night in it, and we was just right. smoking and vibes in and all this stuff. Yeah, so I I didn't even know it was that. That's what was going on over there, bro. Yeah, exo. That's a madness. Yeah, but that must have been the same night, night then. Because I came I came to the show. I came to the show, I linked up with EXO, and then um, before they were all done, I had to get down to the club and sort everything out there. 
But yeah, Chichin came down. Okay. A couple of guys. But um, EXO was meant to come, but he never came. Probably didn't realise it because obviously I had to take all my equipment. So I had all my micro, all my proper gear right, yeah. in the hotel room. So I was like, well, I'm not going to leave my gear nowhere. Do you know what I mean? I don't care whose it is. Do you know what I mean? And I think I lost something in back in it, my glass. Something got lost anyway. Some bullshit. But yeah, like, it was a good night. It was a good vibe. We ended up recording to the tune that Tori picked originally. So EXO just already shot the video with Ching Ching and um, my boy Sees as well. So oh. that track's going to be coming out again as well and it's, a, it's a, again the beat is fire it's that yeah. tropical vibe it would just work any any club any summertime vibe uh with a cocktail and yeah so that that's going to be coming out at some point so yeah man so well usually i put people on blast and make me show them what's in their fridge but you've cleverly you're in the studio you, is this the studio's not your house is it yeah it is it is slightly in the house still well, you should have just said no bro now you've got to show me the contents of your fridge my well, fridge is tidy, but my, I think my girl's actually cooking still. Oh, okay, right. That's that's code for you ain't looking around my house, bruv. Stay out my <laughs> house. Stay out my but house. I actually, I, I actually did a shop today, though. But my shit, my fridge, the shit's looking tidy still. Oh, okay. I've done a shop. Like I always like to have a lot of because in this period right now, it's like there's more kind of like fresh things being cooked unless you're doing the takeaway thing which i know a lot of my mates are doing yeah, yeah they're saying they feel like dirt bags because they're just <laughs> delivering every day and they just day, like indian food every day caribbean food every day yeah yeah they're, they're turning into burgers do you know what i mean yeah so yeah. like my whole thing is like i'm i'm gonna try and cook as much fresh food as possible so and you feel better for it like when when you get that delivery your belly's feeling all funny and that, do you know what I mean? So I think it's just, this is what's helped. Like, I try to always top up the food. My fridge is tidy, I'm not going to lie. Loads of fresh food, uh, loads of orange juice and, and all this stuff, just to keep the immune system nice. Like I eat a clove of garlic a day, right. just so that I just feel, do you know what I mean? Just so that I feel right because, yeah, it's so easy to get sick nowadays and, and get scared, do you know what I mean? You know what I find as well, working the way that, I say we work, but I can't really put myself in the same category as you because you're upper tiers, bro. But sat down, oh, what well, well, music, well. like, in the studio constantly. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's so yeah. easy to fall into that trap of, you know what, I'm halfway through a project. I'm in a vibe right now. Let me not just stop this and go and cook for it and cook and eat for an hour. Let's just order in. And then as soon as... It's I'm hard. Right, it's I'm hard. Right, isn't it? It's yeah. easy to fall into that trap, man. But it's important right yeah. now to yeah keep healthy brother and i'm glad to see you're keeping healthy i know there's a few big moves actually are going to be happening but if i say it out loud <laughs> it might ruin everything <laughs> so i've got to keep it a secret so you got to tell I, i'm going to just ask you to put out there anything you're excited about that's going to be happening what can you tell me yeah i mean i think I think obviously the cat's going to come out of the bag real soon but there's there's some nice kind of things happening yeah um Obviously, you know, I've worked with Charlie Sloth for a little while and I'm, I mean, I'm really cool with, like, DJ Prospect. And they've been helping me out with a few things. So there'll, there'll be something down the line that's going to be happening that's real positive in terms of, like, the music being pushed further yeah. um, that we're going to be able to achieve. So they're going to become a part of, like, the Ducras, like, do you know what I mean? Like, um, brand moving forward. And... Well, the more will be revealed as it kind of goes along, but um, you know, you you obviously showed a lot of love with talking Spanish, um, and um, you know, you helped that tune get far and to other listeners. So we've kind of got something going on as well. Once once talking Sp Spanish hits a million streams, which is about to hit, um, and which we're really kind of proud of as a as a Latin UK thing because we're kind of a really small outfit, fully independent. Mm -hmm. Once that hits a million, then we got a little surprise for them. Just a little, little touch, uh, which we're going to put out there with a UK artist. Um, so, yeah, like, there's, there's going to be something that happens, like, real soon. And then, yeah, all will be revealed real soon. Do you know what I mean? I'm excited. Yeah, do, you know how, do you know how hard helps. it is for me to not just put it out there? I did it to Fanatics the other day. I said some stuff that I shouldn't have said. But <laughs> it's game-changing stuff, bro. So I'm, I'm excited for... Oh. But for when for when the papers are signed and everything's like fully public, we definitely need to have yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, we'll have a conversation once everything is 
everything's in place, God willing, do you know what I mean? Everything is like super blessed, man. Touch wood. Yeah. Everything is like everything's pretty much there. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. what it is is just a couple little little things which we're sorting out. But everything is blessed, man. Like we we already got artworks, everything's everything's happening, like you know what I mean. So yeah, you you'll be getting a, a care package real soon, like in the oh, next sick. yes. Next couple of weeks you're gonna get a care package, like you you might get a an EPK or something, but you know what I mean? I'll I'll give you an email myself, like with all the details and then yeah, yeah, you'll be you'll you'll be in the loop, man. What are you doing for Can't the rest wait. of the day? Are you chilling because it's a Sunday or have you got work to do? Do you know what I was doing a bit? Do you know what I've found myself doing is just like big clear outs. I just threw away four big black bags just full of bullshit I just had in the house. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. one of them ones where like I'm just going through stuff, like anything I don't need, I'm just throwing it away. Yeah. Like, like what's the point of hoarding loads of stuff for no reason? So it's one of them ones where like I've been just going through all the covers, like all the drawers and do I really need this? Like, let me just throw it away. So I'm doing clear outs. Um, but I've been working on music. I've been working on a lot of material. Um, I've got loads of little nice new bits of music that everyone's going to start getting throughout throughout the year. don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil it because it's like a lot of the stuff is going to be different to a lot of the stuff that I've been doing. Yeah. So I just can't wait to take it to that next level. And even the stuff that's going to come out real soon, that's just like a little taster of what we're going to be doing but it's just there's loads of stuff that i can't wait to to obviously show with people and the same with like all the label stuff i'm doing more production work so i've got a few bits and pieces coming uh, especially like with k trap um obviously the corona thing just messed our whole thing our whole plan our rollout of what we was going to do but every everybody's in the same boat so I don't do you know what i mean there's no there's no stress or no nothing like that it's just we're just going to pick up where we left off and then yeah. see where we take it from there. But there's some really big records that we've done on K-Trap's album, which hopefully, yeah, yeah, I can't wait for everyone to hear what we've done on there. So, so yeah, 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 man. Bless. I'm gassed. I'm gassed. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Exciting times, bro. Well, I appreciate it, man. Love Absolute my bro. Legend out here. And uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, man. All right, my bro. We'll do it, man. Have a good one, yeah? Yeah, man. Speak to you soon. I see you soon, my bro. Bless up.